Hi, I'm Brian Prier, tutoring high school chemistry. Today's topic is the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law is this small equation, PV equals nRT. You use it to calculate any of one of four variables for a gas, pressure, volume, number of moles, or temperature. P is pressure, V is volume, N is moles, T is temperature. R over here is a constant. It'll always be the same. 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres per moles Kelvin. These units, they just cancel out with all the other ones. So you don't really need to remember that. The only thing you do need to make sure is that your P is in atmospheres. Sometimes you'll be given it in kilopascals. Convert, so that you can use this R. Now, the ideal gas law is for ideal gases, but there really isn't such a thing as an ideal gas. So it makes these assumptions. You might need to tell them to a teacher on a test question that there are perfectly elastic collisions what that means, two gas particles hit each other and no energy is lost. They bounce off with the same energy they had before. Now this is not completely true in real life, but under most conditions, this is more or less obeyed. Next, volumeless particles. Now gas particles do take up space, so they are not volumeless. However, they take up so little and they're so far between that really this tends to be obeyed for the most part. And lastly, that there are no attractive or repulsive forces between the particles of the gas. This is not always true. Of course there's some attractive or repulsive force, but usually it's so small that only under extreme conditions are they even noticeable. So, you can use this in almost any uh, time with a gas. Let's do an example. Given a gas that has a pressure of 15.00 atmospheres, a volume of 34 0.00 liters. Temperature of 275.0 kelvins. Then you just solve for moles. Plug in. P pressure 15.00 atmospheres. V volume 34.00 liters equals N unknown R 0 0.0821. I'm not going to write the units in since all you need to know is that they all cancel out. And temperature, 275.0 kelvins. Now you just need to simplify. 15 times 34 will give you 510 liter atmospheres. That's equal to, still don't know N, but R times T will give you 22.5775. And then you just need to do some division. N is 510 divided by 22.5775. Plug that into your calculator and you'll get 22.59 moles. Notice I rounded to four significant figures. All of your measurements here were in four significant figures. This doesn't count towards significant figures. So many people have measured it, it's considered exact. Okay, to recap. Ideal gas law, PV equals NRT. Make sure that pressure is in atmospheres. Sometimes it's in kilopascals. It assumes that gas particles have perfectly elastic collisions, meaning no energy is lost. They don't take up any space, and there are no attractive or repulsive forces between them. Now, that's not always true, but usually, under most conditions, these are more or less fulfilled, so we don't need to worry about that. So, aside from that, just plug and play. You'll get your right answer. All right, that's all for now. Again, I'm Brian Freer. See you next time.